Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie bit my finger instead. Hello, hope you all had a good Christmas. I certainly did. Um, enjoyed my time off. I'm still enjoying it off, not back to work till the 4th of January. So I'm getting a bit of shooting in. Um, behind me is my squirrel feeder, which I've just relocated from my garden um, to a new squirrel permission. Um, this uh, farm where the guys are having problems with them getting in his loft and uh, chewing his bird table to bits. I had a similar problem, but not anymore, because I had this set up over Christmas in my uh, back garden and bagged five squirrels off it. Don't seem to be any about for the for a while now. So hopefully I've killed the problem short term. We also have robins and thrushes nesting in the garden, so it's good to clear them away uh, before um, before they start nesting, because the, obviously the grey squirrels will take chicks and eggs. So here's a little video of my back garden adventures using my Daystay Airwolf with the Mako slugs. And hopefully this will be as productive um, on this permission. And we're, it's a Monday now, so I'm going to come back on Friday and shoot it. Give them uh, about four or five days to find it and start um, raiding it. Hopefully they won't chew it to bits. But uh, as long as it's kept full, then I should be okay. Right, okay. I'll show you how I got on. And hopefully this will be as productive. Okay, here's a familiar scenario with anyone with a bird feeder. A fat grey squirrel raiding your expensive peanuts, mealworms, seed, etc. can probably just about tolerate the odd one about, but there was four in the garden at once. So something had to be done. And it was. So out came the uh, feeder, specially designed and built by my mate Stan. And a nice one inch thick plywood backing I'm shooting from my kitchen window which is about eight feet elevated down to about three feet um, now ideally I want the squirrel either side of the feeder on one of those little shelves I don't gonna take him where he is now because uh, it can be seen from the windows on the left of the neighbors and uh, I don't want one of their kids looking at at Mr. Tufty when he takes a slug through the brain. So patience has to uh, come to the fore and pays off. Then it's point and click and it's all over. Now my good lady sends me a photo while I was at work. And I'm thinking why she sent me a photograph of a squirrel on the bird table at first glance I thought it was a squirrel it turns out it wasn't a squirrel it was a friendly neighborhood rat and quite a big one so the next day whilst watching a squirrel jumping about in the garden I spotted said rat helping itself to the biscuits that's been sprinkled in that tub for the robin I thought I'd miss my chance uh, ten minutes later, he was back. Now I'm having to freehand him this time because I normally rest the rifle bottle on the windowsill when I'm shooting the squirrels because that gives me the perfect elevation. But because of my tool shed, I couldn't quite get the angle. So I'm just getting myself settled and bump. It's all over. Bit of helicopter tail. And he never even left the uh, planter. Quite satisfying. Get rid of that. It's a little bonus. Looked at earlier and uh, pinged another one. It's a nice um, coincidence that the airwolf zeroed at 40 yards. My garden's about 9 yards from the window to the feeder. And as it happens, the secondary zero is the same at nine yards as it is at 40. So it's absolutely bang on the cross there. So it makes it nice and simple. 
There's another one absolutely wet through. He's a bit of a dangler. And down he goes. Next one comes in. Horrible drizzly weather we've had over Christmas. Once again he sits up on the fence. So I'm just have to bide my time with him. I do want to uh, get rid of these purely because of the robins and that and the thrushes that are going to be nesting in the hedge down the bottom come summertime or springtime. So uh, they've got to be dealt with now. While there's no natural food about and you can draw them in with peanuts. And obviously as you can see the peanut makes them sit there perfectly still. They're almost like robots. The only thing that's moving is the, the jaws. And that's why the peanut's the perfect uh, food for the squirrel feeder. So down he comes and hopefully he'll stay there. No, jumps back on the fence. So I've got to let him finish that one. The reason it's uh, slightly out of focus is because I'm using a Hawk Max Compact. Which I found is the best scope for the Pod 007. But um, obviously it only parallaxes down to 10 yards. And it's like eight and a half, nine to the fence, so it's the, it's its minimum parallax distance. So here we go. As Matt Manning always says, patience is the air gunner's mantra. And a bit of waiting finally pays off. As down he comes, and this time he makes a mistake of staying on the shelf. And after that, he's out. So here comes the fifth one. He was at the about half past three in the afternoon. I've just about given up on him. He nearly jumped up then, but makes a mistake of lingering. Grabs on with the uh, reflex action of his back legs, which means the brain's dead and it's out. So there we go, five squirrels and a rat. Not bad for a couple of days. And as you can see, the harmony returns to the garden. And this is why we put the food out for these little fellas. Times are tough enough as it is in the winter without the squirrel coming along and taking everything. And then taking the eggs and chicks to boot in the springtime. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. And I'll speak to you soon. Hope you have a great new year. Hopefully it's better than the last one. Let's stay positive, but test negative. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.